Whatever you find to be challenging in your life, whether it's addiction, pain in your body, low confidence, heartbreak, any kind of pain, resentment, anger that you're experiencing in your life is a doorway to awaken the power within you. I'm so excited for this video because I'm going to share with you where the living narrative all started. In case you're new here, my name is Soul, and I created the living narrative to show you how to quickly transform your story because the story you tell becomes the life you live. And I want to share with you how I discovered this. So growing up, I had a lot of anxiety and I didn't really feel safe. So growing up with a single mom was really challenging. Sometimes we didn't have enough money to pay for our rent and we moved from home to home. We lived in so many different places and I went to a lot of different schools. And I also got bullied. So by the time I got to high school, I really, I didn't really want to be there. And I remember this one day vividly. I was just, I was skipping class and I was sitting outside of the school, leaning up against the warm brick. And I just didn't want to be there. But I also didn't want to go home. So I was just kind of kicking the dirt around and then I heard this laughter. So I started to follow it and I went around the corner in the yard, right around these bushes. And I, I heard these people laughing and giggling. And I was kind of just watching them, curious about what they were doing. And one of the girls waved me over. I was a little hesitant to walk over because these kids were a lot older than me. But they looked like they were having such a great time. They were just giggling in the bushes and laughing and having so much fun. And I went over there and I said, what are you guys doing? And one of the girls held her hand out. And in the palm of her hand, there was like some brown stuff. And I was like, what is that? And she said, they're mushrooms. Go ahead, eat one. You know what? I thought, what have I got to lose? You guys look like you're having a great time. So I put it in my mouth and I started chewing. <laughs> and it was so gross. It was like, why are we doing this again? Like, this is gross. But I just kept eating them and eating them and she kept handing them to me and I was eating mushroom after mushroom and drinking it with some orange juice. And I got it all down. By the time I was finished chewing and eating all of these mushrooms, all of a sudden I started to tingle and feel this energy moving through my body. And all of a sudden I could see all of this energy. The trees were glowing and I could see this energy around each person and I could see the energy around my hand. And the laughter filled my heart and it made me giggle. And every time I would speak, it was hard to speak, but anytime I would say anything, I would see that the whole, this whole world would be created out of one word. If I said the word, this is funny. If I said something like that, like a, a sentence, this is funny, I could see laughter being, a whole world of laughter being created. Every time I was speaking, it was creating an entire world in front of me. And all of a sudden, I just kind of like dissolved into all of these stories and I could see my mom's story and I could hear the things she would say all of the time. I could hear her feeling frustrated and feeling like there's never enough money. And she has to work so hard for so little. And I could hear my dad's story feeling so unappreciated. And I could just see where it was coming from, from their parents and their parents' parents and how it was passed on from generation to generation. And I could see that I was next in line. All of these stories being created and being passed on. And I didn't want to inherit these stories, but I was living that life unhappy, depressed, feeling like I didn't want anything to do with my life. I realized that I had a choice that day to tell a different story. Although that experience came to a close, that was the day the living narrative was planted inside of me. I was 14 years old that day. 
And I went on to learn and discover how I could change my story. I studied everything I went when I lived in an ashram. I studied yoga and meditation and the energy bodies and the chakra systems. I learned about the mind. I learned different lineages of yoga. I worked with mystics and energy healers and I learned about the mind and hypnotherapy and kundalini. And I just wanted to learn everything I could about how to change my story. And no matter what I learned, it always came back to this. The story you tell becomes the life you live. Plain and simple. No matter what I've learned in my entire life, it's constantly come back to this point. No matter how deep I get into philosophies, or no matter how detailed I get into cool experiences like plant medicines or embodiment work, it always comes back to the story you tell becomes the life you live. This has completely transformed my life. And I have the honor of helping other people transform their stories as well. This was the beginning of my spiritual awakening, if you will. And so when people ask me, how do I have a spiritual awakening? They usually have this idea of having to go, uh, go off and drink ayahuasca or go live in the mountains and meditate for hours and hours and every day. And you can do those things if you want to, but it's absolutely not required and I wouldn't even recommend it because for the average person, the best way to awaken your consciousness and the power of your soul is actually right at home where you are right now. Whatever you find to be challenging in your life, whether it's addiction, pain in your body, low confidence, heartbreak, any kind of pain, resentment, anger that you're experiencing in your life is a doorway to awaken the power within you. Ram Dass has this quote, something about, um, if you think you're enlightened, go spend a week with your family. And I love this because our family, especially our parents, who are our greatest teachers, and can offer us the most profound opportunities to awaken to our power. The way I see a spiritual awakening without all of the religious stuff is it's realizing our interconnectedness. It's realizing that you have a non-physical nature, otherwise known as a soul, and you are a soul having a human experience. And it is the painful experiences in our life that can most quickly awaken us to this awareness. You can also meditate and do practices. And one of my ways of connecting with my soul self is through dance and also through singing. You know, I go into um, with my drum and singing and toning and I get into this vibration in my throat and my heart and my body and I kind of merge with all the energy around me and it's such a beautiful experience. And so there's a lot of beautiful embodiment practices you can use, use sound and music and voice, and dance and breath work. And some people, as I mentioned, might use plant medicines. However, it's not necessary to do that. So if you're afraid you need to do that, you absolutely do not. Because the painful experiences you're going through are the perfect triggers to help awaken you to your power. And this is what I do with my clients every day during our healing sessions. I help them explore their inner darkness and understand why we have emotions and painful experiences in our life and how to learn and grow from them. Because we really do, we learn really quickly from painful experiences. But when we try to avoid them and run away from them, we miss the gold and the gifts so by looking straight at the things that are painful is one of the quickest ways to awaken your consciousness. There's a lot of trendy things right now where people who uh, say they're spiritual have crystals and maybe they wear all white or they have a mala and they are rechanting mantras and you know all of these things that look spiritual, right? There's like a, a new age look to spirituality. But you don't have to do any of those things if you don't want to, and you can still be spiritual. It's about recognizing our interconnectedness and understanding the mirrors of the relationships in our life is one of the 
easiest ways to have that experience. Like everything that's happening in our life is happening for a reason. And when you can understand what it's teaching you about yourself and your soul and your unique journey, this is bringing greater awareness to your soul path, your soul journey, and where you're at in your human experience. There are so many ways that you can connect to your spiritual nature. Anything that helps you to connect to your unique original essence and some people will go for walks in nature. Some people can get that feeling by going for a run or dancing or being in meditation. There's so many ways that you can access these states or get into altered states of consciousness through something like breath work. Anything that awakens you beyond your thinking mind and your ego that's just trying to like, you know, go from day to day tasks and just make things happen, like something that helps you to realize that you are so much greater than this one little individual thinking mind and your ego self-identity. Something that takes you beyond your small self, that you can realize your infinite nature, even if it's just for a glimpse in a moment. Sometimes it's a feeling that can be hard to put into words. Sometimes you'll get beautiful insights. You might have dreams that give you a different perspective and makes you feel connected to something deeper inside. There's no wrong or right way of experiencing a spiritual awakening. And there's nothing that isn't spiritual. Going to the bathroom, dancing, eating, making love, meditating, all of life is a spiritual experience. And so if you say, oh, I'm only spiritual when I'm sitting down and meditating, you're missing out on such an important and vast part of who you are. Certain things will bring you into connection and will create anchors and an opportunity for opening your channel of connection. However, anything can be spiritual and it's all up to you. So if you're interested in creating spiritual practice, if you're interested in opening up your mind, opening up your heart and awakening to your soul's journey, and you would like support with that, hang around here. Subscribe to this channel. I make lots of videos. I have workshops every month, and I love helping you to learn your soul lessons. So if that's something you're interested in exploring, you can come to thelivingnarrative.com and book a session with me because the absolute quickest way to really awaken to your soul's journey is to, as I mentioned before, look at the pain in your life. Look at the things that are difficult, painful, that cause anger, resentment, fear. Those things will point you towards that which will help you to open the quickest and learn and grow the most. And in my opinion, it's so much easier to do that with support. So come to thelivingnarrative.com and get on the email list so that you can get all the information for the monthly workshops. Thanks for being here and know that the story you tell becomes the life you live. That's why it's called The Living Narrative. Mm -hmm.